Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Canadian Big Time Wrestling, coming to you from the London Arena in beautiful London, Ontario, the Forest City. And introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, from North Bay, weighing 235 pounds, Jean Dubois. Six-hundred pound Canadian black bear into the ring, and we had told you he'd be on that hand tonight. And boy, look at him climb over the ropes. And there he is. He's in there with trainer Gene Dubois. The bear has got a muzzle on, but I don't think it covers uh, his entire mouth. He's after Teddy Thomas now. Look at him go. The Sheik, who is the United States champion, will appear on this program in a cage bout his opponent, Tiger Jeet Singh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Canadian Big Time Wrestling featuring the world's greatest wrestlers. First, ladies and gentlemen from India, he weighs in at 260 pounds, Tiger Jeet Singh, and his opponent who's already come ringside in a bit of confusion here in the arena, from Syria, weighing 242 pounds, the United States heavyweight champion, The Sheik. you one thing. You see this finger here? A beast. 550 pounds bear. Get this finger off.
à l'intérieur de l'arène. Et Denucci et Carpentier s'attaquent à Kalmikov et à Costello. Adrian Adonis was one of the most colorful performers in professional wrestling, familiar to fans both for his outlandish appearance and his tremendous agility as a big man. But his career came to a sudden bizarre end here in Newfoundland when the van he was traveling in swerved to miss a moose that was blocking the road. The van plunged off a cliff, killing Adonis and two other wrestlers instantly. Yeah, they were doing a tour of Newfoundland, and uh, uh, Dave McKinney and uh, one of the Kelly twins and Adrian Adonis, two of the Kelly twins, and Adrian Adonis, they drove off a cliff, drunk, and the ring truck was behind them, and they followed them, and they followed them down the cliff, like 100 feet down the cliff, and found them in the, in the water, and they, they, it looks like they took their wallets and stuff and then called for help. And then in the meantime, a couple of them died, one of them drowned when he could have got help, you know.